Hey guys, so I just want to show you today a little interesting thing I found when um, actually installing Windows 10. So when you install Windows 10, it's pretty straightforward. You just put in the USB or if you have a disk or anything, you can put that in, install it. And something interesting I found actually happens when you connect to the internet. So let's install Windows 10 and let me show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so we did get Windows 10 installed, just like a brand new install, and we're going through the little Cortana speech right now, which is a good sign, that means everything's loaded, everything should be pretty good to go, everything went well so far. But I do want to show you guys something that I found really interesting. So let's go through the steps and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's say I want to start with this region, just the United States, wherever you're from. Whether you're either logged in, I'm actually logged into Ethernet right now. Whether you're logged into Ethernet or Wi-Fi, you will, especially Ethernet, you will be directed right to this page like you just saw. And there was no way I could have avoided that. Now what it's going to do is it's going to want me to sign in with, with Microsoft. And before, there used to be a button where it says you don't want to create an account. You can skip this for now. That is gone. The option is gone when you're connected to the internet. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to unplug the ethernet cord. And let's see if that's going to do it. Let's see. So I took out the cable. Let me see if I can go back and let's see if we can try it now. Okay, so undoing the ethernet port did work. So if you're plugged into a desktop and you have ethernet, or if you're plugged into any device that has ethernet, if you want to just unplug it and then plug it back in right after, we should be good to go. If you have Wi-Fi and you have a device that has only Wi-Fi, you're going to have to download it, install Windows 10. You're going to have to download it without using the internet and logging in. But those who want laptops or Wi-Fi, you're going to have an issue where you're kind of stuck in this loop. And if I try to go back, it's just going to loop me right back to where I was before. And I haven't found another way around this, especially, you can see here, the screen came back. If I try to hit next or anything, I have to log in with my Microsoft account. There is no way around it that I've found so far. Um, those of you with laptops and anything built in, any machine that's built in Wi-Fi, I really don't see how you can get around this now. What you're going to have to do is, you're going to have to reinstall the whole Windows all over again and you're gonna to want to skip connecting to the internet, especially on Wi-Fi. With Ethernet, I could just disable this connection and then it'll go right through. But since it knows my login credentials and there's no way I can go back, I have to reinstall it. Now I'm doing this on Windows 10 Home and I'm actually gonna reinstall Windows on Pro and I'm gonna go see if that makes any difference. You would hope that the Pro would be more professional and I wouldn't have to log in, I wouldn't be forced to do this. So if you're making a local account, which I suggest a lot of people do anyway, just make a local account, then if you want to sign in, do it after anyways. All right, so I'm going to go try it with the Pro and see if it makes a difference. But most people are going to be using Home, so. All right, I'll be right back. I'll... All right, so so far it looks like this one. Let's see, set up a personal use. Okay, guys, so I did install Pro on here, and I get an option for an offline account. And if you remember on the other one, that didn't work. So if I hit offline account, it's just going to go past and go through. So Windows 10 Home doesn't allow you to do that. But Windows 10 Pro, you could actually hit this offline account. And this is what it normally looked like before that I could remember. So let's click offline account. See, then it's going to ask you to sign into Microsoft instead. You hit no. And then you go through the steps just like normal. So it looks like the Pro is, is a way around it, but Home is going to be better for most users. And you can see right when you hit that, now we can log in. This is a local account, so it's no problem. And even if you want to go back to the option of a Microsoft account, you can still do that right now because, of course, they're not going to let that up. So that's just what I saw from downloading and installing Windows recently. I just want to make you guys aware. I would probably recommend doing this anyway, especially if you have a desktop. All the motherboard drivers and all those other ones, it's probably better just to go to the manufacturer's website and get them yourself from there. 
that's those are always the best ones and they're the most safe ones to use especially if you have like a video cards or amd cards get it from the manufacturer's website that's the best way to go and now if you have like a laptop or anything i would just say you can just hit the check for updates and it should do most if not all of them all your drivers anyway you can still go to the manufacturer's website of course and those are the most up-to-date most optimal ones to use Anyways, guys, so I just wanted to inform you guys about when, if you're installing Windows 10, what to look out for. It would be a pain to re-download Windows all over again, so I hope I save you that step, or at least just make you guys aware, which is great in itself, too. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe for more videos and content. We always like to show cool things. We also do board level repairs and a lot of hardware stuff. If I see anything with software, I'll try to do anything with Windows, Android, um or like Mac OS or Linux or anything cool that I see fit. Okay. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.